Hey, what's going on guys? It's Champion 1000 and welcome back to another episode of Luigi's Mansion. Now, just so you know, I, last video I noticed the... I don't, I'm not sure if you guys kind of noticed, but the quality of the video looked a little uh, not as good as the other ones. And that's because I forgot to... Um, there's a device I use, like some kind of encoder to make the pixels sharper looking uh, than the original game really actually looks like but anyways uh, yeah um, last time we took on Mr. Lugs and the Spooky the guard dog now this video we are going to be going to the last area and also uh, I don't think you can water this anymore yeah, usually when you know you can water it, sh it shakes a bit, bit, but it's not shaking at all, if you can tell. So yeah, if you guys thought you could just leave and then rejoin the game, try to do it. That's not how it works. Anyways, though, uh, what you're supposed to do is, like, mouse holes, you highlight the little sparkly hole, and then run up to the little air draft that appears from it, and it takes you to the next area. Now, if you want to go back, you can just do it with this thing here. Also, I think there's a ruby in here. Yes, there is. All right. Yeah. Now, most of these gravestones have hearts. Also, the last one over here has like a big heart, so save that. But what you need to do... Oh, actually, before anything, uh, watch what happens here. I guess you just can't plan for this sort of thing. <laughs> I just, okay, I was in the practice quarter. I was like, oh my god, Luigi, that is so dark. <laughs> it's like, it really surprised me. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, oh, yeah. Uh, you hit this gravestone, and a bunch of skeleton guys will come out. Uh, yeah. What you have to do is uh, take these guys out one by one, and then... Uh, you just, the main gravestone at the end will start glowing. You just have to walk up to it and it'll initiate the fight. Also, I got myself some health before starting the recording because I noticed it was a little low. So, yeah, I'm at 100 now. I got it from Chauncey's, uh, bedroom. The bureau that's all the way in the left. Or, I mean, right. Anyways, uh, now it is glowing. So, that means the fight's about to begin. So... Uh, we got everything ready, I think, to do this. Just so you know, if there is things you miss, like a uh, mouse in the hallway of Area 2, you should really go back and try to get it. I'm pretty sure I got it, although I think I did. But anyways, uh, yeah, any ghosts you might have forgotten, try to get them. Also, if you're thinking I missed one because there's a space here, no, that's not why. Because it... The only reason is because I don't have the key to that room. We'll be able to get it later. If you're worried, we missed one. Alright? So don't worry. Alright? Yeah, the room you're thinking of... I think it's uh, this It's this one right here. Although I don't have the key to it. And you get that later in like another area. So anyways, let's start it. The battle. Say hello to Bogmire. Now, what you want to do is you want to suck up these puddles of a uh, shadowy version of himself and shoot at the real one. Now, he disappears and reappears. You know when he appears when you see his shadow kind of appear at some point on the arena. Also, is there a time limit, I think? Uh, where's the real one? Oh, yeah, there's a time limit. Oh, yeah, I want to try to... Are you okay, there's big ones and small ones. The small ones take 
quicker to suck up, but they don't have as much of an area to shoot with. You can miss them pretty easily. So I try to do the bigger ones. And I accidentally got a small one. Great. All right. Let's do it. Ah, uh, freaking. Yeah, there it is. All right. Damn it. Yeah, you see the reason why I like doing the big ones? That's why. Also, you can see uh, the little shadow that appears, too. All right. Now, you want to try not to lose very much health in the battle, obviously. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Okay, I did, I did better than my uh, uh, other run, actually. There. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. That did not work. Alright. Uh, oh. He is over there, but it's kind of hard to get him with... It. Okay. You know, I try to get the bigger one. Come on. Alright. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, you over here? Alright, yeah, you want to try not to lose too much health, and oh my god, I did it! That was my second try! Yo, I can't believe I actually got it on the second try there. Not bad. And, okay, now we just steal the hearts of these dead people around here. Alright, give me that. Just want to heal up. Anyways, uh, there's no booze in here. You see it's not blinking red. You don't have to worry about that. But let's just collect this. Da, 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 da. I love that soundtrack whenever we get the key. Oh, got a little incoming call here from Egad. Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you're still okay. I lost your signal when that lightning struck. Hmm? That was some battle you had there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? What? You think the lightning damaged the Poltergeist 3000? Don't worry about it. Even if that lightning had cooked your goose, your Poltergeist 3000 wouldn't even have a scratch. <laughs> Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there. What do you say? We put them in through the old Poltergeist portificationizer. That is a lot of ghosts we caught. The ghosts are invisible. So we need to press them into visible forms. Alright, uh press on oh silver on Bogmire. Gold on the dancing whirlwinds. Gold on shivers. Gold on the piano lady, I forget her name. Uh, gold on Mr. Lugs. And gold on Spooky. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Now, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think it's a total of nine ghosts, if I remember. Oh, yeah, Wait, what's weird? One, two, three, four, five, six. Why is it not showing the other three ghosts? What? That's weird. Uh, is it a total of nine ghosts? Wait, I'm confused. What did I miss? I think I missed something. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Huh? Why is it saying nine ghosts? Actually, wait, I'm confused. Oh, wait, does it? Oh, I think it also means the area before, too. Oh, it means also area, like, the total amount uh, so far. Not, like, what you caught in the area. Oh, okay. I was confused there for a second. Uh, alright. Not bad. Got some good gems in that run. Let's see what we get. Even the diamond. 
31 million. Huh. That was pretty good, I gotta say. Uh, now, if it's 31 million, I'm pretty sure that's either an uh, between an F and E rank on the game. Or, yeah, it's, it's an F rank, I think. Pretty sure. Anyways, uh, let's see what, what's next. Oh, alright, save. Alright. Uh, okay, so we have time, so I'm gonna go back to the game and unlock area three. We'll see what we get there. Alright, I'll just skip the cutscene for now. Yeah, uh, if you enter here, you'll see that the lights are on. And there's no ghosts getting in our way, trying to throw bombs at us, freaking bats flying in our faces, just none of that crap. It's good to get rid of them. But anyways, um, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I said if you there's certain mice you want to get that you haven't gotten, like in this hallway, I'm pretty sure back there, uh, there's a gold mouse. Uh, you want to try to do that because... Once the lights are on, it won't show up again. So you gotta be careful of when you want to take down the area boss for a certain place. But anyways, let's unlock the next room. Or area, I should say. This is area three. Now there's these weird little pink things. Uh, I actually don't know what they're called. I don't think there's anything on this, is there? Is there anything on here? Uh, actually, can I click on this? I can click on it, but I don't think I get anything from it. And I lost some hearts from that. Oh. Hey, a heart. Uh, give me, give me, give me, give me. All right. Now there's some plants here we can plant, obviously. All right. Now let's get all the money. Yeah, I want to get some more money now. Yeah, get more rich. Oh. Ah, perfect. All right. Come on. Um, another heart. Uh, emerald. Here we go. Nice. Alright, anyways. There's a well here. But I'm not gonna visit it quite yet. There. Oh my god. Really? I want to go over this way because, uh, what's here actually first? Ah, money, money, money. Okay, we get more of that. Okay. Now, there is a shed here. Uh, be careful because if you do it at the front, this will happen. Yeah. Uh, anyway. There is a crying toad here. Let's see what's wrong. Some, something terrible is in that well. And he won't talk to us unless we check it. Yeah, we can't do anything with him right now. Also, that door over there is locked, so we can't progress to the next area. If you see, this is the start of area three, but the first door to area three is locked. So we need to find out how to get the key. Also, here's this thing. Wouldn't it be nice if I could raise carrier pigeons here? Let's actually, uh, check it. Oh, what is this? It found Mario's letter. I wonder what it says. Anyways, though, let's check out the well. Oh my god, shut up. You're so noisy. Alright. Anyways. Yeah, and... Doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, since there's a lantern, I wonder if we need a fire. 
Yeah. Anyways, though, let's see there. Let's what's at the end of this hallway. Get me out of here. Oh, hello. And you drop the key. And it opens up the room we were talking about. Uh, anyways, though, if you can tell, Mario's trapped in painting, and there seems to be some boo with a crown looking at him. wonder what that's about. Anyways, let's go back up. Yeah. Um, okay, we can clear this area now with the ghosts, I think. Yeah. I don't, th there, I don't think there's any boos in here, honestly, so it's fine. Uh, oh, where's those bomber ghosts? Hello? Oh my god! That. Uh, nice, okay. Uh, yeah, just need to get more of those ghosts. Wow, two for the- Oh, I thought I got both of them. God dang it. There we go, and that clears the area. Oh, gets another chest, but this is just money. I mean, money's good, so there's that, but still. <laughs> All right, it'd be cool to unlock some more areas. Anyways, yeah, actually, you could actually hear him kind of talking a bit in the well if you listen carefully. Honestly, um. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I can't really tell what it says. But if I find I might actually look up and see what it says and I'll put it on the screen here what he's actually saying down there if you want. Anyways, uh let's talk to Toad now. You saw him, didn't you? How could they do that to Mario? When I saw him like that, I completely lost it and ran through the mansion looking for a hiding place. While I was running, though, I did happen to notice that Mario left some of the, his things lying around the place. A hat, a glove, a shoe, a letter, and a star. I saw five items altogether. I'd go collect them for you if I could remember where they were. Yeah, I probably should have picked them, some up. Anyways, you know what we have to do? We have to say, leave it to me, because we're the main character of the story of the game. And stupid Toad doesn't want to do anything so yeah all right what huh really you'll find all mario's items for me skippy skippy yahoo oh my god he said yahoo after that that's funny i don't know if you heard that oh thank you so much luigi anyways uh we could go into this room but then there's a locked area so you can't go back to area two so yeah, and besides, I want to go to Madame Corvoya to read the letter. So that is what I'm going to do. And then after she reads the letter, I think I'll call it the end of the video then. Alright. Anyways, though. Yeah. I'm going to see what's on the letter. And then that'll be the end of the video. At least we're in Area 3 now, though. So it should be pretty interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm? What's this object you have there? Show it, please. To Madame Corroya. But what is this? If it isn't Mario's letter, give it to me. I will read it at once. Erm, sure it's okay. I'm a licensed letter reader. What, what? Hmm, let's see. Look out for... Booze Luigi. Is that all? Not a novelist, Sir Mario. This must have been written in a quite a hurry. Oh, they come 
Now the spirits come, come spirits of power, come spirits of sight, show m to me an awful, the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan, use your darkling powers to show us all you could, I mean can, show us all you can, show us this, Mario. The light of the spirits, come show us what we seek. Oh, hum. Your Mario is imprisoned, but where? Oh, where is he being held? Yes, a painting. Your Mario has been imprisoned within a painting. My orb shows an odd altar and... Come here, you stupid orb. Yes, above it. Your Mario, trapped in a painting. Ah, I cannot concentrate. The spirits are leaving me. If you wish to know more of your Mario, bring me more of his dropped items. Anyways, that was a bit of an interesting insight she had. But that will do it for this video. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Next time, we will be um, tackling on more of Area 3. We are going to do the boss that's probably over here. Oh, I spoiled it. Oops. <laughs> I, oh, man. Sorry. All right. Anyways, yeah, there's a boss coming up, but... Uh, you don't know that for me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, and make sure to look at the watch the Let's Play or the playlist of this Let's Play I'm doing if you want to see more of the content. But that'll be it for this video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see you guys then.